for Mr. Cordomain was so nice. I remember the time that I interviewed him for my school project. And he kept talking about his family and how they're more important than anything. It must have been so hard for him to be so sick and then to find out that Jason's missing and possibly don't, dead. Don't say that too loud. Sam might hear you. She won't even consider the possibility that Jason's gone. He was so good during the ceremony, not even a little peep. Yeah, he's the strong, silent type, just like his dad. <laughs> Aren't you, champ? <laughs> um, Dante and I are hoping to have a champ of our own sometime, so I should wow. talk to you about Yes. Oh, you have to help me. Oh, hey, Hi. Sam, sorry. Hey, um, I, I really need you to get me out of here before Spinelli tries to talk to me. Okay, so I'm so sorry. Sorry. Oh, please, it's important. Uh, Maxie, I, I was hoping maybe we could talk. I'm, I'm really sorry, Damien. I don't have time to talk to you right now. I have places to go. Oh, and um, I would appreciate it if you didn't call me Maximista. Uh, you don't deserve to have a nickname for me anymore. There's our little nephew. Hi, Hi Danny. Mm -hmm. You look so handsome today. How are you doing? Good. Good. I just I, I wish Jason could have been here to say goodbye. I um I took I took Danny to see Edward, and Edward reached up and he he touched Danny's finger. So beautiful. Mom had to leave to go into work, but she wants you and Danny to come to dinner tonight. Yeah, please. Yeah, so I, I have a couple books that I want to start reading to him. Besides, it's our duty as ants to spoil him. <laughs> okay, I would, I would love to. Great. We'll text you at the time. Okay. Okay. Hey. Bye. 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 Love you. Love you. Bye. 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 Okay. We saw what Maxie did. What was that about? We are having a temporary. Why? Uh, it's kind of your fault. <laughs> I feel so bad for saying. How did I cause tension between you and Maxie? Well, it's because of you that I that I met my girlfriend. Spinelli? You have a girlfriend? Yeah. What? Her, her name is Ellie. And she happens to be the lab assistant that assisted me when I was trying to establish the proper blood type for the infant that you thought was yours. Okay, so I, I don't see the problem. How is any of this my fault? No, no, it's just that it, it was in my attempt to uncover the truth about Danny that I first encountered Ellie. And I liked her, so I, I asked her to join me at Sonny's calamitous wedding, and she mm. handled the chaos with remarkable poise. Well, that all sounds like Really good news. Yeah, yeah, and we've been together ever since. We, we share many of the same scientific and, and, and cultural interests. I never have to explain myself to her. We've, we've grown very close in a short time. That's wonderful, Spinelli. I think Jason would be really happy for you. Yeah, they did meet briefly. They, uh, wait, so I, th I... I think he approved. <laughs> I, 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 do, I don't understand how Maxie fits in with all this. Right. Yeah. Oh, she's kept me at arm's length now for over a year. <laughs> Squelching, basically, any romantic connections that we might have shared. And now recently she has confessed that she's in love with me. I can't even... Oh, what else did she say? Well, she told me that, that I'm her Mac. Her Mac? By, by which she meant that, you know, I'm not her stepfather, that, but she's come to value my devotion. Okay. And that she's also realized that love is more than edge or danger or guns blazing. Well, maybe she's realized what's important now. And I, evidently, she's made numerous attempts to inform me of these developments, but 
Ellie was always around, and now that Ellie's moved in with Maxie... Wait, 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 wait. Maxie, the woman who just said that she loves you, is actually roommates with your girlfriend? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, complicated. Wow. Um, and yeah. the other morning, after Ellie left for work, Maxie poured all this out to me, and, and, and so now I... I wake up with Ellie, knowing that Maxie is mere feet away, and, uh, you know, we run into each other in the kitchen, and she barely speaks a word to me. Well, you know, that's because you didn't choose her. Precisely. Okay, well, what do you think you would have done if you didn't have a girlfriend? <sighs> you know, after the threat of Jerry Jacks had passed, I went to visit Maxie to assure myself that she was all right. And she asked me whether or not we were still friends, and and I told her that I, my feelings for her ran too deep to accept a platonic arrangement. Hmm. That the only way to end my torment was to dissolve our relationship altogether. Good for you, Spinelli. Really, I mean, she's been stringing you along for years. Classic Maxie, right? To, 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 to reverse her position at the exact moment that I give up my infatuation with her. And then she finds out I'm dating someone else and she wants me all the more. Okay, okay, but I, I, I still think you're avoiding the question. I mean, would you... Would you want to be with Maxie? Well, the question is moot. I am with Ellie. Hmm. <sighs> And now I plan to proceed apace with investigating what happened to Jason. So anything new from McBain? No. I mean, John won't say the words, but he thinks Jason's dead. You know, sitting here through Edward's funeral, I, I wonder if I could do this, Spinelli. I wonder if I could put up a picture of Jason and listen to people say goodbye. Could you? No, because I don't think Jason is dead. Do you? There, there's no proof that Jason's alive. There's right? no proof that Jason's dead either. Oh. Come on, Spinelli, please just tell me the truth. Do you think after all this time, Jason could be alive? Sam, I, I want to believe that he is. I guess I just lack your unwavering faith. How could you, of all people, not have faith? You spent years of your life waiting for Maxie to love you, hoping that she would. And she's finally given you her heart. True, for years I hoped that Maxie would love me. But when she finally came around, it was too late. She's too late. Yes, I know. Ellie. I heard what you said, and I knew this would happen. I'm too late. I wanted to be here for you, and I missed the funeral entirely. I'm so sorry, Damien. My seminar on bi-specific T-cell engagers just ended, and I tried everything, including exceeding the speed limit, hoping I could be here with you. Um, Samantha, this, yes? is, this is Ellie, of whom I was speaking. I... Spinelli was saying that you helped find my baby. Yeah, it was... So honored to help in any way possible, even though Damien had to work extra hard to persuade me to break the rules, but the nobility of his cause prevailed, and uh, out the proverbial window they went. <laughs> He's very determined. Oh, this must be the infant in yes. question. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful baby he is. I am so thrilled to meet both of you. Thank you mean you. so much to Damien, right. as did your husband, Jason. So, are you, are you in the mood for some lunch? Samantha, would you two care to join us? Thank you. No, we're, we have some thinking to do. I think we'll stay for a bit. Nice to meet you, too. I guess it's just your name, then. Yes, it seems so. So, what do you think, little guy? Spinelli, right? Are we gonna have to do this for Daddy someday? I'm so Don't worry, Daniel. I am not ready to give up on Daddy yet. Yeah. 